Hi guys, Andy here and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play and today, first things first, we're going to have another go at getting this little bird what's out in the ocean to see if it wants to be our friend I think he took a load of seeds, of seeds off us last time, so I've got another stack of seeds and if this doesn't work, then, well, I wonder if we can eat power for tea Right, last chance bird You want to land? Are you landing? There we go Hey, at last. Right, come with me. You must come back up to the house. You can just sit there and look after that part of the area. I'm now going to turn my attention over to what we're going to do today. And we've got it. the house herd has been thinned down. Two cows. It's not a lot. In fact, I'm going to remove all this sugar cane here because I've not got enough sugar cane. But I want to get some animals set up. I'm well aware you need sheep or wool more precisely if you are going to be taking on or we'll go into a nation city, apparently that helps. So what I want to do now is get up A, I want to sort out enchanting, and B, I want to sort out some animal farms of some sort. So, can you place down on mud? So can you can. We get some of this punt down here so I can hopefully get enough to make the bookcases I need. I've got plenty of leather now, especially the sugar cane. We'll make a little automated farm at some point out here. 33, that should get us some bits of paper. We've got some more paper there and two books. Excellent. Alright, got six bookcases here, so we can go in the corners and get those in there. And that is a start. I've done a bit of okay, in. Now I've got 15 diamonds, so we're slowly building up. Most of our batteries in been enjoying caving back from before. Now I've not got all the enchanted gear and another right gear and going for resources, no iron farm and stuff like that. It's quite an enjoyable experience caving. But while we wait for the sugar cane to grow down there, I'm going to bring my attention over to here, which I've blocked off already. But back here. Actually here, that's more precisely. I want to put a barn in. It's that sheet there. No, it's a bit of clay, and I'm assuming that's from an Enderman. Zoom in there and I'm moving clay. Right, yes, back here I want to put a barn of some sort, so I want to clear some trees out, get a bit of space, and then we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, animals, I want cows, sheep, and I'd say chickens, but I've not seen any anywhere. We'll go for cows and sheep and chickens. I'm not bothered about the pigs. I've got nothing to breed them with anyway. So, uh, axe in hand, I'm going to clear this out, and then we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, we have one little cleared out area here. I don't, it's not a massive area, but it doesn't need to be really. What I just need is some internal space for cows, sheep, and probably some chickens. And then after that, maybe a bit of a storage spot. So let me take these torches also out of the way. And then we'll have a look at what we've got. So if we're gonna come in this way, we'll have an entrance way sort of here like that and then we'll go one two three four five and then we'll take this along this way i might just take a bit of you out there i can always take this tree out and come a little bit further back if i want to see this one one two three four one two three four five six including that one one two three four five six See, that's going to go off the edge. Yeah, I imagine I can always pull it up, I suppose, and just add in some landscaping that way. Let's just bring that in like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're we'll bringing that in there. If we take this tree out here, maybe a small area for the chickens. To there. And then I could just bring that along here. Oops. 
for the storage. That is fine. I did find a saddle in a mine shaft when I was last caving. Although I've not seen any horses around here, and no offense, how would you get a horse up here anyway in the first place and use it for navigating? So it's probably less of an issue anyway. Or, or actually, what I want, I can use this all back here for storage. So that's three, one, two, three. We'll bring this one in as well. So we'll take rid of this. Have a little bit of an external outside building there for storage for the wheat and so forth and seeds, animals, sheep, pigs, sorry, sheep, cows. No, sorry. Yeah, actually, no, no, do that. We'll do storage here. Sheep, cows. Back here, have a space for the chickens. I think that would work. I'm going to go several blocks up with stone, a bit of wood, and then a roof on top of it. I think that'll fit in quite nicely there. So I'm going to get some materials. I'm going to get this this tree and go. Cut a bit of space here, and then we'll get this built up. Well, I'll make a start in it, and then we'll take you from there. Oh, excellent! That's uh, worked out quite well. Right, first bit is up. Stone base got the wooden on top to go in in here. I think this is fine. However, I think I might change out this texture here just to make it. Slightly different to the rest of it just for variation, but for the moment I want to stop putting the roof on over here And I'm going to go with something similar to what I've got down there with the black and the red Basically, I really like it simple as that so and I'm going to try and make it a little bit more of a curve So we're going to come in With a couple of stairs I'll do the same on the other side That's fine. Do I want to go one more? Let's just go one more stair. Same over here. And then we're going to go over onto the slabs. I'll go one, two, and then I'll come in two like that. I will go and repeat that over here. And that will match up. Let's go for the back here and have a quick look, see what sort of a curve we've got to make sure we're happy with it. Okay, that's a bit too steep coming up here. I'll take one of these stairs out and lower it down a bit and then I'll get that in. So let me get that done. We'll uh, have a check of it then. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's a better slope going in. So what I'm going to then come in and do now is put in. I'm going to come in and put in some of this here and fall off and where i can where i can maybe put a full block in we can then perhaps mix in some of the logs and we'll strip them as well just to give it a little bit of extra texture over this one and we can probably fit one in and that bit there as well so i'm going to get that done in place I'll put something for that end as well, and I'll retexture that to something different. So I shall click on with this, make a mess of that. We'll see where we are. After that, we shouldn't be far off then. We can think about getting the final details in. Excuse me, treat. And then get some animals moved in. Well, here we go. One completed barn. All in place, got a little bit of storage to set up here, just a bit of um, seeds and our wheat. We've got our one and only sheep, we've got some cows, we've got no chickens yet. We'll get there eventually. Added these little windows in for ventilation, I opened these up here as well. I've kept this all wide open here, normally I would have probably arched these off and put a door on it, but I've left it wide open totally, just to let the ventilation in there. A bunch of animals in the barn, that'll smell, so um, that's fine. Added a bit more deco around the back and a lot of leaves around it, keeping up with the jungle bushy feel as well. And I really like this. One little barn in place so I can get rid of what was over behind the house. But while this has been getting built and finished off, what I have got up here is now one full set up enchanting area minus. That's an enchanting area, and that's because I need 
some sort of obsidian. So I've got no sticks with me. Let's go get some sticks. I'll go make a diamond pick. And then I think there's a lava lake nearby. I think we're just gonna find that lava lake, go and get ourselves some obsidian and bucket of water. And then we can then get our chimney table set up. And then we just go get another sheep, stop breeding them up, and I can start getting some wool. I'm gonna get that done. And then we can go and have a look and see if we can find ourselves an ancient city or some of this deep dark. So far as I've been any cave I've been underneath, I've not found any sign of it whatsoever. So I'll have to go and have a look around and see if it's anywhere. I'm going a little bit further field and go into another cave further field. I have no idea at what point they spawn, if they're deep down or whether it's something you need to be into the deep state area that the below miners want. So I'm just going to have to have a look, I think. But first things first, uh, obsidian in it's somewhere around here. Here we are. This is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna take this all apart, get all the obsidian, and then uh, we'll head back and crack on with our enchanting. Okay, got enough obsidian so I can make a portal later because we'll manage to go to the nether soon. So I'll get some diamonds, I'll get some lapis, I'll get my books Come over here, one enchanting table. Get rid of you, you're not needed. You in there, and then boom, level 30, and I'm breaking three. Let me just make up. I still haven't got any sticks. Great. I'll make up a sword as well. Let's see what that can give us. Smite form. Yeah, I think we'll talk. Let's have a risk with the unbreaking three and see what that gives us. Ah, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I'll make another pick just in case I get some like silver touch or fortune three, which will be very handy. Efficiency four. And the sword is going to give us sharpness 3. Let's go for sharpness 3. It's... That's it, the sharpness 3. That's some breaking 3. I just wonder if we're supposed to chuck in some basic enchants on here. Right, we've got a basic set of enchanted armor, which is fine. I've got a smart sharpness 3 sword, which will do well. Efficiency pick. So, I'm going to cut my inventory. Sleep. And we're going to see if we can find ourselves a, another sheep. And then let's go see if we can find ourselves the ancient city. So um, I'm going to get a few bits of bobs done and uh, hopefully I'll uh, stop looking around and see what we can find. Right, I have been, been in a couple of caves and had no joy whatsoever in locating some ancient city or some of the deep, dark, dark, deep, whatever it is. Down here, I thought there's a little bit of a Blue, I don't know if that's glow squid or whether that's it or not, I don't know. But I've been wandering around, I've been carrying my shears with me so I can get my hands on some more water as I go along. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and work my way down here somehow. And then, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get down here, but that's how I'm going to get down here. Well, that resolved that issue very quickly. Well, welcome party, hi guys, thanks, thanks for the welcome, appreciate it. I hope it's all around. You're carrying your friend's body. There we go. Right. Uh, let's chuck some torches down. Gather a bit of this coal around here. I'm now going to stop making way down. And if it is what we're after, we'll have an explore and discover what it is. I've got a bed with me. I've got to know exactly how dangerous this is going to be going in there. I'm assuming it's very dangerous. So if we do find that's what it is, we'll step back a bit. Give ourselves a little bit of a place to set up base. We'll take it from there. So, I'll hopefully see you shortly. Oh, well, I've been slowly working my way through this cave. I've lost track of where the deep... I thought I saw potential deep dark, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain it's deep dark. But I found this abandoned mine shaft hanging quite nicely in this cave. And it's quite impressive. So, I think my aim is now... If I could potentially get down into here. And we can have a look around this area. Again, seeing what is further below. But also see if we can find some uh, minecarts. 
I'm uh, I'm gonna look, look around the floor as well to see if I can see anything. There's something down there, I think. I don't know if that is or not. But let's start getting some torches around here. We'll have a go. That's a bit of a jump. Have a look around here. Where of mobs, some mobs in the area. Ooh. Let's go over this way. So I'll have a little poke around here. If I do find anything out of sight, I will let you know. But otherwise, we will keep trying to work our way down. Right, I've got myself a little camp. If I head over this way, I peek down there. There's that stuff there. And they keep making noises. And they keep flashing to that over there. So, no idea what is going on. But that zombie keeps tripping. And there's that thing over there as well. So they keep making noises and setting things off. But I've no idea what is happening. I thought I'd set this little camp up here. I've set my spawn here. So that's done. Made a new shield. Topped up my armor. My helmet up broke. Got some more iron cooking up. So that is in there. So I've got a backup stuff here. I've not left any food in here. Leave some food. Leave a little bit of wood. I've got some wool. I'll leave some wool there. Taking the chairs with me. I have no idea why. We're going to go down and have a look and see what this is all about. So obviously I can't just drop down there and I've been working out from different points. I come up down here, there's, there's bits of, of it about and what have you. And I don't know what's going to happen now. There's a whole load of it over here. I'm still in Savannah Plateau biome, so I'm not actually gone into any deep dark biome. I have now about what's of it. I hit them, am I going to trigger it? I am now in the deep dark, there we go. Get rid of these guys here. Are we all done? Right, I think I should have had a hoe. Ooh. I put a torch down here, that doesn't thing. I set nothing off. So, so I try to get experience on these. A little bit. Okay. There's one of those things over there. And the sense is that a sensor? Okay, uh, oh god, I just triggered it. That wasn't good. Probably I've got a lot of mobs up here, I don't know if they can trigger it or not. They all keep firing off. Are they triggering it? Are they encouraging it? Are they? Do they? Can they summon the warden? Can't see any sign of a city. Ow! Oh, there's a big wall there. If you don't mind? There's a load of stuff down there as well. Okay, right. Let me light some of this up. So to juice. That's the creeper. Creeper, get away from there, you stupid creeper. You weren't exactly creeping them, were you? If I put a torch down, that's triggered that. It's not going any further. Oh, this is so frustrating when you don't know what's over this way. So I've got a lot more of this deep dark stuff. Oh, ooh, falling box triggers it. Right, so let me get those away. Let me move all back in place. 
Is there anything over that side deep dot wise? I don't think so, but I might as well go and put some chalk some torches down just to if I light this up, I would use mob spawns. Right, got a bit of lighting up done. I'm just looking down there, there's loads more of this stuff down there. But my question is now. I know there are chests in the city where you can find things. Can I find things not in the city? Is there anything what will be hidden in there? I know if I put a torch down now, that didn't set anything off. Is there, there's nothing around here. And how do you identify city? Ooh. Oh, don't throw my torches down there. That bat sentence, it keeps saying, they keep picking up from that. So I don't know whether they are letting, are they letting them know? Is that what I need to take out? Are they sensors there? Scary. Um, can I get that one now? Don't mind it with a pig. What's that? Did it not drop anything? Have I got the wrong tool to either hoe? Can't see any more of the sensory things down here now. I am getting a tiny amount of experience from them. There's a little more back here as well. Oh, this is very unnerving. I'm half tempted to go back now and make a hoe. What's that? That did nothing. That did nothing. I'll put a torch down because it won't trigger anything. That detects when I jumped up, didn't it? Right, I'm going to leave some of this wall down. I'm going to claim some of it back. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my little base and I'm going to pick up, make a hoe, and then come back down here and use a hoe on some of these blocks. It doesn't appear to be anything sensory over here. There's anything around this side. Can't see anything specific. I'll just leave the other bit of wall behind just as an indication where I've been. Well, I now know that a hoe, you can harvest these blocks at all, or any form of collection from that point of view. See no indication of a city anywhere in here. I don't think that's a city, I think it's just burst under. I think that's just the um, the blocks on the ground. You see, I've been looking around. I don't think there's a city here. And they don't seem to be setting the shriekers off at all. Ooh. I think it's off the control and I fell. That wasn't good, so I think perhaps I now need to read up a little bit on. I can't I wonder if you can make these blocks at any point or what sort of use I could have. Back 
as a base, but I don't think I'm going to find an ancient city here. So, I've experienced it. I'm alive. Part of me wants to summon the warden just to see what would happen, but I know for a while it's probably the sort of me dying. So I'm not going to do that just now. We're going to go around and gather a little bit of the resources around here. Head back to my little base. Gather up my stuff and then I'm going to head back to my home. I feel quite brave I've done this. <laughs> I feel brave. Oh dear. Right. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've actually, you know, I've actually gone out and done this. I think when I get back, I will still keep an eye out of what is city. Should I actually find one? Because that would be nice to have a look at one of those. And I think as well, before I go back, I'll pop back into that mine shaft and see if I can find have another look at anything else. A little bit of coal. Because I know there's a disc in the mine shaft still not found, so it would be nice if I could find that. But I'll do that. If I, if I find anything useful, I'll bring you back in. Otherwise, I will see you back at the. Um, Jungle slash slash monsoon base. Oh, well, back home. Quick run through the night. Stuff still left cooking for when I was last here. We can add off our rest of our goodies that we found down there. Didn't find anything else really exciting in the caves. Did get a carrot though. I was um not something I was planning on bringing back, but I thought you know if I can get if I can bring a carrot back, it's another crop to add to our stock below. I got myself some glow lichen as well. It's been an interesting episode. I tell you what, before we wrap up, let me go and sleep. But we've had an interesting episode. We're invaded by skeletons. I was about to say, don't just die right at the very end like that. Yeah, you know, we've uh, moved animals over. We've got ourselves a nice little barn set up with a bit of a storage area and a bad jump. We've got some sheep in there. We've got some cows and space chickens. And the storage we've got our enchanting area set up that's nice we've been off we found our first hint of the deep dark no ancient city yet we will keep looking for that going forward and i am quite happy with that in all fairness when we do go back to the city of Warhaven, there's areas on there which got trimmed as well when we went to 1.19 so we're going to go and have a look around at those as well and see if we can find any hint of an ancient city there as well. It's actually, you know, actually, I'm, I must have missing it, but when I was in the last cave and I was walking around the big open space with the mine, I'm kind of thinking this would make a really nice base to do something with. And I am not in a position to want to take on a new project like that because that is quite a big project, but it's something I will think about for potential future bases in some way, shape, or form. So I shall leave this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget leave a like because subscribe if you haven't done already ring the bell to be notified of future content and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye